Did you know there was such thing as a four-way switch? I'm sure you've probably heard of a three-way switch before, which means you can control the same light from two locations, but a four-way switch, you can control it from three different locations. So the easiest way to tell that this is a four-way switch is because it has four screw terminals on it, one in each corner of the switch, not including the ground. If you include the ground, then technically it has five. In a three-way switch, you have three screw terminals. A three-way switch really confuses people, so a four-way switch is probably really going to confuse people. So we're going to actually do things in two pieces. First, I'm going to show you how a three-way circuit works, and then I'll show you how a four-way circuit works. And as you watch some of my electrical videos, you'll hear me over and over again saying line and load. Line means it's the power that's coming into the switch. Load means it's the power going out of the switch. In order to have a three-way circuit, you have to have two three-way switches, one on each end, and then a light source. I've got the switches facing away from us for the moment so we can see what's happening. So at the first switch we have the power coming in from the panel. We have the hot line in which is the black wire, the white neutral, and a copper ground. So the line in wire will go to the black terminal screw on the first switch. To keep things simple we'll have the neutral wire and the ground wire go directly to the next box. That leaves us with two exposed brass terminals on this first switch and we are going to install what are called traveler wires to those. We'll install a black one between the two terminals, and then we'll install a red one between the other two terminals. So from the first switch box to the second switch box, there's a total of four wires. There's two traveler wires, a ground, and a neutral. That leaves the black screw terminal on the second switch available. And for that, that becomes our load wire up to the light, which normally would be black, but I'll make it orange just to keep things separated. And lastly, to complete the circuit, we need a neutral coming out of the light and connecting back to the second box. We'll tie all our neutrals together. And then, of course, we need to make sure that each switch is grounded, so we'll just ground all those wires together as well. Are we having fun yet? I know it's sloppy, but stick with me. I'm going to show you how it works. Now, before I dive into exactly how it works, I want to change the way you think about a three-way switch. A three-way switch is less about on and off, and it's more about directing the current. So when the switch is up, as indicated by this red arrow, the path is completed between these two terminals. Flipping the switch to the down position doesn't turn it off, it just changes which two points are connected, which shifts it to the other terminal. Now keep that in mind as I show you how it works. So power comes from the panel to the first switch via the black terminal screw. Now if our first switch is in the up position, it takes the red wire path. And since our second switch is also in the up position, in this case, there's a complete circuit to the light. However, if I flip the first switch down and leave the second switch alone, the power will go through the black traveler wire and since the second switch is in the up position, it won't complete the circuit, so the light will be off. If I flip the second switch to the down position, the current will flow across the terminals and it'll complete the circuit again. And if I flip the first one up again, it'll try to go the red path, and again, it won't be able to find a way through based on where the second switch position is. So flipping the switches flips the path. Instead of on off, it's changing direction. It might hurt your brain a little bit, but I hope that's helpful. If the first part of this video confused you, this part's not going to be any better for you. So you might want to pause this, stretch your legs, rewatch that a few times until you get a grasp of it, and I'm going to do my best. So the easiest way to tell that this is a four-way switch is because it has four screw terminals on it, one in each corner of the switch, not including the ground. If you include the ground, then technically it has five. So I showed you how a three-way circuit works, and just to keep things clean, I've stripped away everything except for the two traveler wires and the line-in wire. You could just assume that the neutral and ground wires go from box to box to connect the circuit. And just like a three-way circuit, you need two three-way switches for a four-way switch to be involved. So the first switch on the circuit and the last switch on the circuit have to be a three-way. And you can actually put as many four-way switches in between as you want, but for the sake of this, we'll keep it simple. We'll just go with one. And as you can see, I've got the two traveler wires that are coming out of the first three-way switch. I just popped them into the top two terminals on the four-way switch. Now in a four-way switch, instead of a single pair of traveler wires, there's two pairs of traveler wires. So we'll take a red one out of one of the exposed black terminals on the four-way switch and connect that over to one of the brass terminals on the last three-way switch. And then we'll take another black traveler and make that go from the black terminal on the four-way switch to the other exposed brass terminal on the three-way. It doesn't matter which traveler goes to which brass terminal because all it does is changes the path. But once again, that leaves the black on the three-way switch at the end as the load wire that goes up to the light. And then I'll throw in another neutral just so you can see that it's a circuit. Now we'll bring back our green gates that show us which way the terminals connect on the three-way switches. And I showed you how they alternate between points. Now let's look how the paths work on a four-way switch. On a four-way switch, when the switch is in the up position, 
the terminals on the sides are connected to each other. And when the switch is in the down position, the paths crisscross across the switch. So knowing how the paths work on the three-way and the four-way switches, now let's take a look at how it works in action. As you can see in this example, our first two switches are in the up position and our last switch is in the down position. Now let's add some current from the panel and see what happens. As you can see, it flows through the first switch, follows the red path to the four-way switch, which then carries on to the last three-way switch, but the last three-way switch position cuts it off so that there's no power to the light, so the light is off. But if I flip the middle switch to the down position, the path crisscrosses across the switch to the black traveler into the three-way switch and up to the light so the light can be turned on. And if I flip either of the other two switches, it'll just alternate whether the light is currently on or the light is currently off. So all three of the switches can be used to change the current status of the light from on to off. And that, my friends, is how a four-way switch circuit works. So next time you're trying to troubleshoot that three-way switch in your house, I hope this video is helpful, and I hope you'll come back to it, save it, bookmark it, do whatever you gotta do. And for more DIY home electrical videos and other home improvement tricks, tips, and tutorials, make sure you check out my website at mrfixitdiy.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.